Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the door seal on this Hoover OPH 716D washing machine. Now, on this machine, it's not possible to remove the front panel to access the door seal and replace it. So what I'm going to be doing is simply going in through the door porthole. Now, if necessary, if you need more space to work, it's possible to put the machine carefully onto its back, which allows the drum to fall away from the front of the machine, giving you more area to work. And you can also, if necessary, remove the door via these two hinge screws here. But I'm going to be going in just from the front of the machine. Safety first, always unplug the appliance before carrying out any work. And the first thing I'm going to start by doing is to take the top off via these three screws at the back. The door seal on this model has very unsightly mold and bacteria inside it. It also has some discoloration from the sun. Now, if your door seal isn't as unsightly as this one, it is possible to remove and clean the mold and bacteria away and also prevent it from building up. And you can see me doing that in another eSpares video. But as this one is in such a poor state, I'm going to be replacing it. The first thing I need to do is to remove the outer retaining band from the outside of the door sill using a flat headed screwdriver. I then need to push the door sill inside the machine so I can access the inner retaining band. Simply done, just pull the seal off the lip and fold inside the drum. Now on some models, it's possible to simply unscrew the retaining band, but for this one, I'm going to use the end of a socket to hold the nut into position while I unscrew it with a Phillips head screwdriver. With the retaining band now loose, I can simply work the seal away from the drum. You can then grab your brand new seal. Now on some door seals, it may be necessary to lubricate the lip with a little washing up liquid, but this one's actually come pre-lubricated. So I'm going to push it inside the machine. And then using the marker, this goes at the top and the drain hole there goes at the bottom to make sure that the door seal is in the right position. You can then work the lip around the rim of the drum itself. With the door seal in place, you need to pop it inside the drum again and then refit your inner retaining band. If the screw isn't in the right position, you can easily move it by holding on to the seal before tightening it up. With the inner retaining band in place, now all I need to do is fit the seal onto the outer lip of the machine and replace the outer retaining band. With the door seal in place, now I just need to fit the outer retaining band. And this just connects together with these two sets of teeth, helping it to remain nice and tight. So there we have it. 
One new door seal fitted to this Hoover washing machine. Now it's a good idea to run a test cycle just to ensure that it's fitted correctly. Door seals and thousands of other spares and accessories for all makes and manufacturers of washing machine are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.